you mentioned the, the significance of educating our staff. Right. What does that look like for you? How do what does you, when you're adding a new menu item to your you know offering? What what does that look like? That process of educating your staff look like? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you that it's been challenging at the moment right now because typically we used to find ourselves very much focused around training and education. We used to fill our Fridays or Thursdays with um, a staff training. We used to calendar that time, um, whether it was bringing in vendors that um, spoke to their own products or, you know, wine reps that spoke to their own, um, you know, bottles of wine. We, We would kind of hold our management accountable for creating some kind of training flow at least once a month if not twice a month um, due to the challenges now that we're facing you know and the limited staff it's been really hard and that's been the part that's like you know trying to maintain morale and trying to continue to you know I don't know have those one-on-one moments with your staff to educate them or get them excited about a product is is hard right now Mm -hmm. Um, but I think in our Boston location um, our chef there uh, and all of our chefs, really, um, Mikey and, and Bree and Andrew, they, they do such a great job of very much creating a dish and then sitting around a table and talking about it, whether the dish continues to evolve, whether it's missing something. Um, and that's really fun for me to watch because it's it's definitely a collaborative focus on the dish yeah. um, that brings it together and, and allows people with a little bit more um, sophisticated palate to truly know where chef is going yeah, with it. Yeah, what's that conversation look like? Kind of paint that picture to see what a good construction of conversation should look like yeah i mean i think that basically it comes with them like you know they'll always talk about the plate up right and so they put the dish together i'm sure on the back end they they're especially right now dealing with um vendors and trying to see whether or not they can procure items and how long it'll be available to them uh because that's been challenging but uh, so they, they put it, the dish together, they plate it, they kind of taste it together. Um, the chef behind it seems to identify the ingredients and where they were going with it. Uh, and they taste it. And sometimes it's a total success with moderate tweaks. Sometimes it seems like they just want to scratch it after they run it as a special or for the weekend. Um, but once it gets put on the menu at this point, it then goes to staff pre-meal and then it's fully um, discussed at that point our management team creates a menu spec on it. It gets circulated um, amongst the team through an online scheduling app. That's kind of been our form of communication, especially right now. And um, it gives them the details that they need for the dish. Uh, see, this is why I love the pullback layers. Because we're starting yeah. to get into like the systems and the process and how to communicate effectively. Mm-hmm. So after you, you the, it goes through the process of, and you say, okay, we're going to make this a dish. You create a menu spec, which is basically like the, what the the ingredients, the the story behind it, any important information exactly. about the purveyor, stuff like that. Allergen related things. Yep. And then real quick, what what does the lifestyle or what's not the lifestyle, but the life uh, cycle of that spec look like? You said you create the spec and then where does it go? It goes on to a scheduling app that we're using that's a basic f- platform for all of our communication. What are you using? Uh, we use Seven Shifts. Okay. Um, we've been with them from oh, the beginning. Oh, yeah. by the way, Seven Shifts, I think as of maybe not this episode, but the episode that goes live on Monday is a current sponsor. No way, that's amazing. We did not plan this. I that's never awesome. plan these things. Yeah. I love when my guests organically recommend the, the, the companies that are Yeah, we felt, I almost felt like we were show. like a beta with them. Like we've certainly tested um, the product out. We've liked the way it's grown um, as a forum of, of communication that makes it easy for management, but also just, you know, the importance of being able to shut off when we walk out of the restaurant is huge. And so, you know, for for staff to not feel like they just have to be texting as a form of communication, it's a nice way for management to be able to have their own outlet to check in on staff and communicate through that vessel. Nice. Um, okay. So, um, this menu spec goes mm-hmm. into your scheduling. It gets pushed to everybody. Where else does it go? Anywhere else? It doesn't. I mean, at that point, it then goes up on, you know, walls within the restaurants just to make sure that if somebody um, needs just reaffirmation during the shift that they have a place that they can go to on it. I love, I love that we're getting into this nitty gritty so early out of the gates. Uh,